Hello, and welcome to Real Talk with Kelsey and Rachel. I'm Kelsey, this is Rachel, and this is Real Talk. <laughs> hey, we watched Sergey Kovalev in an outstanding 11th round knockout win over Anthony Yard in Russia. It was Kovalev, of course, is from Russia, but he lives and trains. I think he used to be in Florida, but now he's in California. Who knows where he trains at, but he gets the job done. Former unified champion. Currently has a belt. It was a young, hungry contender that he fought, Anthony Yard, from the UK. A um, lot of knockout power. Showed a lot of grit and determination. And had Kovalev going in the fight around round seven and eight. He had Kovalev staggered and hurt. And, you know, Andre Ward was calling the fight for ESPN, was saying that Kovalev was a front runner, right? And then Kovalev come back, comes back to win that fight. So I thought it was a really important uh, win for Kovalev, and especially considering that he might get to fight Canelo Alvarez next. Yeah, it was, a, I think, a, a really classic case of a veteran showing the benefits of being a veteran. Yeah. So you look at Yard, and to me, my analysis is that uh, he didn't have enough conditioning to finish the fight. So not yeah. only finish the round in which he could have uh, taken, like, not Kovalev out, then he also couldn't finish the rest of the fight. Like, he was yeah. kind of spent. Um, so I'm surprised to hear you say grit and determination because well, here's my overall feel about it. He was so it. tired, Rachel, but he kept fighting. I guess. Um, I, um, I'm a, I find I'm a little bit disappointed when people don't put in the hard work that it takes, like in their training camp. So the story I make up is that um, Yard was leaning on his talent and didn't put in all the work that he needed to. Yeah. Kind of a harsh analysis based on well, almost no data. All I did was see the fight. <laughs> um, but that's what my mind made up. It's not, yeah, from what they said about his training method, remember they talked about him not doing any sparring, and just watching him fight, it might just be that this guy and this guy's team thought that they knew better than everybody else in boxing. And everybody else in boxing says, Few months throughout boxing history says you've got to train for 12 hard rounds, you've got to spar. They usually say, Hey, it's better not to look like a bodybuilder, it's better mm -hmm. to not work on that so much, but to work on things like endurance. And so, your body will look a little different. Your body will look the way Sergey Kovalev's body looks. That doesn't mean that people there aren't outliers that don't look a certain way and haven't been successful, right? Um, and watching some of his fights, Anthony Yard's fights before this fight. I thought he didn't move his head enough, he didn't throw enough punches, and he couldn't win the fight. Um, he almost won the fight, but it's because I think Kovlov is a little bit declined, and because maybe I underrated, and I think Anthony Yard has talent, um, I think that it'll behoove him greatly to learn from this experience, to take this experience, to apply some new methods or ideas in his training, because he looked gassed halfway through the fight. And if you're planning on being a world-class, elite, professional, world title holder, if that's your dream, then you better be ready to fight 12 rounds. And he's just not ready to fight 12 rounds. He just can't get through the rounds. He had a couple of hurt, like, where I was like, uh-oh, Kovalev looks like he's about to get stopped, mm -hmm. like he was against a leader Alvarez in that fight. Um, but he weathered the storm and then took over through the rest of the fight until he stopped Yard with a, with a jab. You know, that, that's, that guy was so tired. Now, Kovalev's jab is outstanding, so I'm not taking yeah, anything yeah. away. But it's just that usually a jab isn't what, like, stops somebody. Yeah, but he's just, I mean, the guy was so tired. And, like, he kept fighting. He did his best. He just didn't have the conditioning. So I don't know if it's just, I would assume, the story I would make up is that these guys don't quite have it figured out on the back end. Well, and that's, like, the really good thing is that, this is conditioning. This is completely fixable. Yeah. You can you go can back, this. continue. Like, you, you mean, you're not out of boxing. Like, this is, you You can fix this and do better next yeah. time. As long as you have, like, the work ethic to fix it. And that's the thing about boxing is boxing is really hard work. You don't, you can't, yeah. rarely can somebody just go in based on sheer talent and and win because of the this is the way yeah. like the how the sport works and you like you, i like what i saw in the fight in that when he was tired he kept trying to win I mean, he was dead he was dead tired in rounds <laughs> 10 and and through the part of 11 that he made it through and he was he was throwing a punch when he got hit with that jab he was so tired he just went down couldn't get up 
But there is a different kind of consistency that's necessary as far as your training goes and how you live your life. And that's truly what can take you to the next level. It's one thing yeah. to go all out, which is great to, to go out like that and to, to go into a fight and really try to win the fight the best you can with what you have. That's great. Some people don't have that. He has that. But what would behoove him greatly, again, is the other thing, which is what do you do every single day? Who are you listening to? Are you trying to rewrite the story of something that you don't need to rewrite the story of? This boxing has been around for a long time. People know how to get in shape for boxing. There are people that do it, and I would just hope that he does that. So what do you think about Kovalev possibly fighting Carol Alvarez? I think it's awesome. I'm so happy <laughs> for the fight because I think that Kovalev, has been one of the bigger boxing stars in the last... Th he was one of the HBO's last big boxing stars. And he's a world champion at 175 pounds. He's a really good boxer. That's how he won this fight, his boxing. He's such a good boxer. He's got a great jab. And Canelo, while I think he'll be favored in the fight, at least slightly, Canelo has never fought a legitimate light heavyweight world champion. He fought. He's fought once at the weight when he fought um, Rocky Fielding. But again, Rocky Fielding's kind of a second tier, top 15-ish type guy. Not Sergey Kovalev, who's still one of the top two or three light heavyweights in the world. It may be the best. Yeah, I'm excited too. Uh, I, I do think Canelo would be favored. I told you um, when we were watching after the Kovalev fight that I think that Canelo just has the better like boxing IQ. Like I think that uh, Kovalev, his age has un like left laid to bear some of his weaknesses and flaws. Yeah. And I think that Canelo will exploit them and that he will win the fight. Well, and Kovalev is a good example of Kovalev. Well, I think that Kovalev in training camp trains the right way. Like his body looks right when he's in shape and ready to go. Kovalev reportedly hasn't really lived the life of a full-time professional fighter 24-7. Some guys do that. Some guys don't. Some guys go and like they eat whatever they want or they like to drink alcohol a lot or whatever. That kind of thing will show itself, especially when a fighter ages, because your body just doesn't respond the same way anymore as you right. get into your later 30s. I think we're starting to see it with Kovalev. Um, I think what's best, it seems like that the alvarez Kovalev fight, if it's going to happen, and it seems like it's going to happen, when Kathy Duva was here in Houston, when I asked her about the fight, which I thought was already like the negotiations were over, she would only give me like little sentences <laughs> and then I was, I was like oh that's weird and then later we found out that oh it's because they're they're still negotiating i think this fight is going to happen i think that it's good potentially that they already started negotiations because he just got through a training camp right he just want to fight if they're negotiating now let's say they announce this fight within the next week or two he's back in training camp and that might be the best version of Sergey Kovalev that could possibly exist oh, for the Canelo vs. fight because there would be no long lull. There would be no like two or three month break where Kovalev right. does wherever he wants. I yeah. think he is a guy that when he's training, he's training yeah. and he has that discipline. And that makes me wonder, well, what's going to happen then when, when Canelo gets in the room with Kovalev? I do not think Canelo will just run right over Kovalev. I think it's going to be a no, good fight. I think fight. It, like fighting somebody that's a legitimate uh, light heavyweight. Um, is going to be different than, you know, what Canelo's done in the past. Yeah. So I do find it interesting because this is obviously for Canelo and his career, legacy, whatever you want to say, if he beats Kovalev, it's great. Um, what do you think about for Kovalev? Because if he loses to Canelo or if he wins, I feel like it doesn't mean as much because he's the bigger guy. Oh, it means a whole lot to Kovalev because it's a bazillion dollars to fight Canelo. <laughs> I mean, I think beating, losing, facing, and beating Canelo Alvarez, the besides the with their the biggest star in boxing. That's huge for Kovalev. That gives him. You don't think people would be like, "Oh, well, yeah, you were the naturally bigger fighter." Okay. No, because I think he'll be a slight underdog. I think it's different. But I, I get that. I'm just saying after the fact. After, you know, the fight takes place. Do I think place, somebody on the internet the will fact. say that? Yeah. <laughs> Just like some people on the internet are calling Canelo a cherry picker and picking Sergey Kovalev, which is stupid and ridiculous. <laughs> this isn't a cherry picking fight. This is a dangerous fight because, again, Sergey Kovalev has one of the best, hardest jabs in the business. He just knocked somebody out with it. He's naturally larger, and he's a good combination muncher. If... We've seen Canelo fight Gennady Golovkin, who also has a good jab, and we've seen Gennady Golovkin hit him with that jab pretty often in, through those two fights. If Kovalev can hit him, and if he can run Canelo into some of his naturally larger hard punchers, he's a hard puncher, 
And who knows what can happen? Maybe he stops Canelo. I don't know. All what right. do you think? Mm-hmm. Come here and tell us. <laughs> Come closer to us. You know, we are, uh, appreciate you watching our show. Um, it means a lot to us, personally, professionally, and socially. So we're on the at her views. Emotionally. Emotionally. Mentally. Intellectually. All the ways. What's that? A few ways. Anyway, we thank you for watching our show. Hit, be sure to hit like, the like, comment, and subscribe buttons, if you will. Yeah. And do us a solid. We'll do you a solid by keep bringing you some of the best content that's ever been made. <laughs> Thank you.